In 1987, an American named Steve Rothstein spent a huge sum of money, $250,000, on purchasing an airplane ticket. Questions arise, what kind of ticket was it and what kind of service was provided for such a hefty sum? Was the flight on a golden plane, accompanied by Hollywood stars, with live music from a popular rock band, and the passenger consuming Dom Perignon champagne made for Princess Diana's wedding? And for lunch, were white truffles from Alba, frittata with lobster, and diamond caviar from rare albino beluga served? Surely, for $250,000, it must have been Miss World or even Miss Universe presenting that caviar. And on December 13, 2008, American Airlines unilaterally revoked Steve Rothstein's unlimited lifetime ticket. Enough was enough. Imagine, flying around on someone else's dime, having coffee and croissants on the Eiffel Tower. Steve, of course, was upset and even fell into a deep depression after losing his golden ticket. Oh, my god! He was just about to fly to Sarajevo, taste Bosnian ragu in a pot, and then this disappointment. Giving interviews to journalists after his ticket was confiscated, Rothstein sadly said, they betrayed me. They took away my hobby and my whole life. They literally destroyed me as a person. The former unlimited traveler decided to fight the airline's arbitrariness and sued them. However, he received a counterclaim for fraud. He was reminded that sometimes, taking advantage of his VIP status, he helped various good but unrelated people with flights across the USA. It was for this reason that Rothstein's lifelong air ticket was revoked before his earthly life came to an end. Anyway, Steve Rothstein made it into the Guinness World Records as the world's most traveled person, having made the highest number of flights over 10,000, and accumulated a total of 40 million air prize miles. This astronomical number of 40 million miles is approximately equivalent to the distance between Earth and Mars. You could say that the unlimited traveler Steve Rothstein made it to Mars. And, by the way, it wasn't expensive, just about $250,000 worth of green paper.